to your side is your local election headquarters. And while we're less than two months out from the November election, some are already looking ahead to next year. Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax officially launched his 2021 campaign for governor today at Fort Monroe. 10 on your side's Tamara Scott was there before heading out to breaking news and explains why the location was significant. I feel great. This afternoon, Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax made the announcement for his run for office in front of his family and constituents on what he said is sacred ground. Of course, wanted to come here, uh, Fort Monroe, the site of some incredible history 401 years ago. First enslaved Africans were forced to land right here. So we are both honoring uh, that incredible journey and talking about the hope in this first year of the next 400 years. Fairfax said today in his speech as he announced his candidacy that right before he was inaugurated as lieutenant governor, he found out his ancestors were slaves and were freed in this state. He says it's a full circle moment for him to make this announcement. We all are in this together. It is time for justice, fairness and opportunity for every single Virginian. He says his campaign will continue to make strides with injustices, education and health all while bridging the racial divide. Incredible progress, breaking the ties to expand Medicaid to 450,000 more Virginians, uh, fighting for more economic opportunity, investments in education, paying our teachers. And so I want to continue that work uh, now as governor. And we've just felt so much uh, support and enthusiasm uh, for our work. Uh, it's been really historic and landmark, the progress we've been able to make here in Virginia. And I believe uh, as governor, we'll be able to uh, do even more to lift up all eight and a half million Virginians. Fairfax said there has been silence from Governor Northam, but they are in close communication. We asked why he believes he's the man for the job. We need strong, courageous leadership, uh, people who are willing to stand up uh, even when uh, others will not. They elected me to stand up, to have courage in the face of adversity, uh, and to focus on them and their families, and that's really what we've done. And despite previous and ongoing controversy from his office on sexual abuse allegations, he's hopeful this will be the right move for the Commonwealth. Virginians want to be taken to higher ground. They don't want to be uh, stuck in this mode of, you know, the politics of personal destruction. As the stories have fallen apart, people have lost interest in it because they weren't true to begin with. Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.